Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo. Yo, what is good, world? It's your boy, Calvin Leroy King the Third, back with another Lower Third, brought to you by none of the Dan, this, that, and the third. The lifestyle show that gives you life. Literally, topping off our new news segment this week, y'all know there's still a whole war raging in Gaza, right? Now, I really don't watch the news like that, for real, for real. Not unless I'm on it or something. But from what I'm hearing and seeing, Moz could care less about what's going on in the Israel-Hamas conflict that's taking place in Lebanon. Now, clearly, I don't have all the facts. In fact, I don't have none of them. But I do find it quite interesting how one day this war was so headline newsworthy and all, we must stand with Palestine. But as soon as the holidays came around, motherfuckers, bro, are you serious right now, bro? I'm trying to cop this new Palatine bike for Christmas, my nigga. Like, gee. Come on, man. Moving on to entertainment, Jonathan Majors takes a major hit in court today as he was found guilty of assaulting his former girlfriend. Actually, he was acquitted on one count of assault as well as one count of aggravated harassment. But then he was convicted on another count of assault and I guess regular harassment. Anyway, while these convictions are merely misdemeanors or less in a court of law, usually resulting in just a slap on the wrist, the hit button <laughs> is going to take to his wallet and in the court of public opinion, is going to hurt way worse at the end of the day. In fact, it's already starting to happen. Not only did Marvel drop him as a reoccurring villain in their MCU movies, and I'm talking about instantly, but most black women are also casting Johnny Boy out since this whole ordeal is a result of him dealing with a white woman. And I'm willing to bet that as a result of this verdict and the negative impact it'll undoubtedly have on his career, his relationship with Megan Good is finna get mega bad. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. But hey, based on that video TMZ released that apparently helped the jury end up reaching a verdict, that nigga could possibly have a career in track. If not, maybe, just maybe, 50 Cent or even Tyler Perry could throw him some work. But if those ain't options either, then the only question for your boy is, to be or not to be? And finally, in everyone's favorite topic on Lower Thirds, which is none other than relationships. Killer Cam finally got to meet his Nia Moore. Yep, that's right. Cameron and Nia Long recently met at a celebration in honor of Rich Paul, LeBron James' agent and business partner. Now, while the meeting may have seemed innocent enough, the way it was apparently set up is hella messy. Y'all remember a year or so ago when then Boston Celtics head coach Ime Idoka was caught f***ing around with subordinate female staff members and how that led to his firing and Nia Long dumping his own? Well, fast forward to a few weeks ago where Ime and none other than LeBron James got into a little back and forth as the Lakers were squaring off against the Houston Rockets, who Ime now serves as head coach for. In the war of words, Udoka said the Lakers were acting like some <coughs> and that LeBron specifically was a soft ass <coughs> and wasn't finna do nothing about it. Spicy, right? Well, both player and coach were assessed the technical for their actions, and Ime was even kicked out of the game for the exchange. But that apparently wasn't enough for old LBJ. Nope, he felt the need to take things even further by inviting Killer Cam to Rich Paul's party where he knew Nia Long was finna be. Now, according to both Cam and Nia, their exchange was pleasant and very cordial. But if we know Killer like we think we know Killer, this may not be the last time the two meet. Greet, eat, and eventually, bang, 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 Skeet, skeet, skeet. Bye, 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 skeet, skeet, skeet. Bye, 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 skeet, skeet, skeet. Hey, wait a minute, Rick. I thought this was a commercial. What, what's going on? I mean, Relax, don't, don't worry about it. Let's just, just see where this goes. I guess only time will tell. But what do y'all think about LeBron playing matchmaker? Was that inbounds or was there a clear violation on the play? Tune in to this, that, and the third this week to hear our thoughts on the matter and for a chance to share yours. Well, I guess that about wraps us up for today's Lower Third. Brought to you by This, That, and the Third. A lifestyle show that gives you life. Literally, be sure to check us out whenever you're on your favorite social or streaming sites by searching this, that, and the third with the third spelled I-I-I like the Roman numeral three. Once again, it's been your boy, Calvin Leroy King, the third, and shout out to my co-hosts with the Moses, Miss Reese PC, the one and only. And we are the Undisputed King and Queen of Chicago Podcast. Check us out.